This is Raina and this is Rhea the mother. Now I just had Renza, the sister, to Raina up here. And I thought, well, I'll come back and do a short video on Raina, but I'll bring Rhea the mother so you can see these two. They are phenomenal, these dogs. Rhea is just this magnificent, beautiful big female. She's so calm, so easy going and uh, just a dream to work with. Now these are Swedish Elkhounds and uh, we're at Kamiya Kennels right now. I'm just sitting by my new stud pen that I'm building. I'm going to have Raina's dad, Postle, right here. <laughs> Raina is uh, my best buddy. She's, uh, she's a little more uh, affectionate than Renza. She shows her affection a little more. She's very, very, uh, just a beautiful, beautiful dog. And uh, easy to work with, fun to work with. She's a little more open, uh, not as reserved. This is, a, this is a magnificent dog to work with. She wants to learn, she wants to work. She pays attention. She's right here. I mean, uh, Renz is exactly the same, but Raina's just, just has a little more of uh, Apostle's fun personality or dad's personality and he's a very fun guy too he just loves loves the people and so she's always right right here with me now Rhea is a magnificent working female <laughs> you're such a good girl you're such a good girl oh my god oh my god Oh my God, you're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. Rhea, she is so good. Rhea, she is so good. She's just like you, Rhea. So these girls are ultra friendly. They're so personable. They're such great family dogs. Oh my God, they're so fantastic. Rhea, she's a hunting machine. She can hunt, she can hike, she can do it all. Um, she's, she raises some phenomenal pups. And uh, I had kept these two back just because I wanted to spend more time with them. Give them a little more, uh, I don't know, maybe attention if you want to call it that. I was, I was always uh, wanting these dogs around and it's fun to have the little guys for this stretch. And so she's six months old. And uh, Amanda's coming up. She's going to take either um, Raina or Renza home with her. And then I've got another fella, he's very excited. He'll he'll come and get whichever other one. Either one is is a magnificent world-class dog, either one. And so it doesn't matter. Uh, they're both phenomenal. And these are Paso and Rhea offspring from the last litter. They're six months old. And uh, I have I have another daughter of Rhea a little older than this as well. I have Vienna here and she's she looks you, you couldn't tell them apart. They she's just in the middle here. And uh, it's phenomenal dogs. Now I also have down in the pen Telu. Telu is a half sister to Rhea because she's a boss and Anya daughter. And I'm going to place Telu as well. Telu's a year and a half. So I have Raina at six months, Vienna at a year, and Talu at a year and a half. And, but Talu is, is Paso's daughter, but Anya's daughter. So she's, she's got the same father, but we used Anya. And so uh, Talu is an Anya and Paso daughter. Just don't pull ahead. No, just don't pull ahead. That squirrel can stay there. What? 
but you just let that be loosely. That's my girl. That's my girl. That is my fantastic Rena. Beautiful dog, this dog. Oh my god. Yeah. Renza and her, I hike them together all the time. Um, they can work individually as well. When you're running matched pairs, you've always got to take the individual dog as well. You stay individual. Hey, stay individual. Just stay individual. She's so inquisitive. Rhea, she's just steadfast, chill dog, very chill, very good dog. She's a, a tremendous yard dog, this dog. The Swedish Alcons make extremely good yard dogs, watch dogs, guard dogs, that sort of thing. They're, they're very, very good. They're, they got a big bark. Um, they will move stuff out of the yard when all the neighbor ladies, when they call, there's lots of bear up here. And when they call, they got a bear in the garden or a bear on the deck. They always spawn and they say, Merv, release them hounds. <laughs> so I got to take Ark and run up there, or they'll say, bring Ark. They have bones in the freezer form ready. So if Bart goes up, he just moves the bear off the deck, and moves him off a little ways, and he runs back. He's got a bone right away. They're giving him. It's funny. Ark is the brother to Rhea. So yeah, he's he's good. But I could take any one of them up there, but they all know Ark, so they just love having him come. But yeah, these are really, really good. Um, nice dogs now this girl and her sister i hike a lot of off lead with them and they're they're very good now if you saw some of the videos with ria's sister ayla i used ayla to train reina and renza ayla is, is so am just amazing she's better off lead than ria like by quite a bit Ayla is one of the best in the world for mentoring. She's just a phenomenal dog. And um, there's a potential that she's bred. Because she got, I'm pretty sure she got a hookup with Possum. Now, I'm going to wait till I see the belly. Because all the hookups were in the middle of the night. And the only reason I'm positive they had a hookup is because Karu was freaking. And by the time I got out there, it looked like they were just finishing up. Like, uh, but Carew let me know that, hey, I'm supposed to be doing the breeding around here. That's what he thinks. But Paso was doing the breeding. Carew doesn't uh, work with the Swedish dogs, just Norwegian. Carew, he's in with Bonner right now. They had a hookup last night. So, there, Bonner's, Bonner's for sure, Greg. Well, Possibly she'll catch. I mean, there's no reason why these dogs won't catch. But Ayla has missed with Basso before. So whether it was too early, too late, not sure. But uh, we'll just watch and see the belly. Anya was, I was positive, was bellying up, but then she didn't have litter. So that's okay. Um, Rhea will cycle in another six months. Um, it's been six months since this, well, it won't be quite six months. It'll be about four months because... Um, Rain is six months old, so in four months, Rhea will cycle, give or take. And uh, she's she's accurate on her cycles, so we'll uh, we'll put Paso in one more time for Rhea. I mean, you cannot beat that pup and or the other ones. All the boys were fantastic. You don't go in there. No, no, no. You come by me here, just right here, Rena. No, don't be tangling this up. Come here. Don't be tangling this up. Get over here. Lena, get up here, baby. Get up here, baby. Yeah, so these are magnificent. So, yeah, I got to do a little brushing on Paso. He's just getting rid of his summer coat, coming into his winter coat. So he's letting all that out right now. So I'll brush him out, clean him up. But uh, he's starting to be bunking out up here once I finish these pens in the shed. He'll bunk out here at night. And uh, that gets them out of the breeding area. 
and it's a lot easier on the breeding males. If all these big males are hammering on the doorstep of them breeding males, it uh, keeps them on edge. Mind you, keeps them sharp too. But uh, we might as well let them have a little more relaxation. So yeah, I wanted to showcase these two and the other one. And uh, I may get a chance and get Talu up here. See, it, it was raining, but uh, so I had my rain gear on. But I've escaped the rain so far. So I think what I'll do, if I can have enough battery, I'm going to put Talu on and come up. Because she's just this magnificent female. So, just hang on, Rhea. Don't go under my camera. Hang on a second. 